You love this chore, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> You're so crazy. Go see the Avengers movie. Me and Tim went and saw the Avengers movie, and I got a free poster, and now you need to go see it and support it. It's amazing. Grab some chicken at Sam's, and this is how they are packaging their chicken now. So that is really awesome. And it's $1.98 a pound. Needed some eggs. Gonna try these quesadillas. They're charbroiled chicken and Monterey Jack cheese. They look good. Blue corn tortilla chips. Got some snack items, and this one is an almond pecan crunch. We went through the apple juice. We really like the Tropicana brand. Needed a bag of salad. And then this steak, we are actually going to cut it up and we are going to use it in stoop. And that is $3.98 a pound. At Walmart, we grabbed some snacks and these had dollar off coupons on them. So this one is a pomegranate vanilla flavored cashew and this one is maple pecans glazed. Yeah, mellow yellow and Mountain Dew. That was not supposed to come home, but Justin, the, ju Justin. Justin did it. Justin. Justin. And then a pineapple, chocolate almond milk. This one's a dark chocolate. We drank the milk chocolate before and that was really good. Some vanilla yogurt. And in the vanilla yogurt, I love to put raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. And let me tell you, them strawberries smell really good. Some more snacks. We're gonna try the Fruit Clusters Cranberry Almond. Needed some green pepper, a small sour cream, and some sharp cheddar cheese. And three sweet potatoes for a side dish. She is eating a couple of eggs. There was two eggs that were broken in the carton, so I fried them up for her, and she's highly enjoying those eggs. You love this chore, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> You're so crazy. Go see the Avengers movie. Me and Tim went and saw the Avengers movie, and I got a free poster, and now you need to go see it and support it. It's amazing, but be careful taking little kids because there are some scary things in it. Okay. So, but it's PG-13, but you said it actually could have been rated it, R because of the swearing and violence. violence. You could have, it, it was a hard PG-13. It could okay. have been a, a soft R. Okay. <laughs> Jason's cutting up the steak for the stoop right now. And then when I'm ready to cook it, I don't have to worry about it. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. So what do you think of the chicken in these packages? Do you see any difference or? Not less leakage. Yeah? Than what we had before, yeah. Yeah, because they get really juicy, don't they? It's kind of mm -hmm. gross. And there's a lot of juice in here, <clears throat> but the packaging keeps it in. It doesn't leak out, so that's really nice. There's always stuff that you have to trim off a chicken, isn't there? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I think no matter how clean we try to buy it. Yeah. But you pay a good price for it, so. Yeah. If you want to get it perfectly clean, it's going to be about $5 a pound. That's true. Okay, so I got this cool little, I got a package in the mail yesterday from Northern Safety. Uh, it's a safety supply company that we use at work, and they sent me this cool little cup. So it's like a multi-purpose cup, so you can unscrew the top and put your cold liquids in there. It's got a little slider for drinking out of it, and then it's insulated. Okay, but then the cool part is you can unscrew the top, unscrew the bottom, drop a can in, the top screws on, and it keeps your can nice and snug. And it's also designed that you can put the top on the top, or the bottom on the top here, and then this will screw onto the bottom so you can don't lose it. And then if you drink adult beverages, it's designed to hold your adult beverages and keep them cold. I thought it was a cool little deal. It's a pretty neat little cup. Okay, so when we moved down here, my leaf blower got destroyed, didn't work anymore. So I've been just using a broom to sweep off the sidewalks and the, the patio. So I decided I needed a new one. So because Troy built was so nice and gave me the weed eater to try, I figured I'd buy a Troy built uh, leaf blower. So I got to do some assembly, and then once I get it assembled, I'm going to use the gasoline that they gave me that's already 41 premix. I'm going to try it in this, and I'm going to try it out. So assembly was basically really easy. Unpack it. This little tube slides on and snaps on. This oh, longer tube on the end snaps on. 
This is the general use tube they call. You just pop this button right here. Okay, slide that one off. And then you can slide the special used tube on, which I'm not gonna put all the way on because it's kind of a pain in the butt to get back off. <laughs> so that's it. I'm gonna go put some gas in it, get started up, try it out. So this little can is called True Fuel. Uh, this is what Troy Built sent me with my weed eater. Uh, I was looking at it. They have it at Lowe's is where they sell it. It's $5.99 a can, but it's all pre-mixed 40 to 1. So if you use 41, they have different brands. They had a 50 to 1, 35 to 1, I believe. But the nice thing about this is it's ethanol free. So if you have a little two cycle engine, ethanol free is the best gas thing you can use. So I think I'm just going to start buying this as little as these things will use for a couple dollars more, but it includes your oil already. It's going to be a good deal. Hello, today is an absolutely beautiful Saturday. It is in the 80s today, so I have all the windows open, the birds are singing, if you can hear them. I love it. And the sun is nice and bright and shining, oh my goodness, but it's perfect because we have some things that we need to get done around here. Um, we have gotten some rain, yay, <laughs> finally. Uh, which caused our lawn to jump up. So I know Jason wants to mow the lawn and there's just some odds and ends that he wants to do. He wants to work in his garage this weekend to get some things accomplished out there. There's been like, I don't know, garages just get messy. I have towels that I need to fold in the dryer and just some little things to do around here today. So that's what we are doing on this beautiful, warm Saturday. About to leave, already packing. Come with me. I'm not be These towels that we got at Sands, I had had them in a um, previous vlog. These are really nice towels. I know a few of you had said that you were going to run out and grab some of them, did you? They are so nice. Also, I believe it was Chris had said that she loves to get them for like gifts and things like that. So that's a really good idea for the wedding season coming up to grab some of these towels for gifts. The asking will get away to a place where we don't know. Oh man, I made quite a mess this morning. Hmm. See that little grabber thing? Jason got me that so I don't have to bend over and pick stuff up because for whatever reason I seem to be dropping everything when my back is hurt. <laughs> so that has come in very handy. I'm always dropping stuff but oh, I need to clean this mess up. Yesterday, Jason and Justin went to Walmart and Sam's Club and just picked up the odds and ends. You know, I don't like to have Walmart do my like fruits and vegetables if I can help it because they just, they don't do a good job. But today, Jason went and picked up our online groceries at Walmart. We figured we'll keep doing that because that just takes care of the bulk of it right now at this point in our life. So he did that. So let me show you the little, it's not a very big grocery haul, but I will show you the items that we did get. On taco night, when we make tacos, um, we really enjoy having guacamole to go on top of it and also pico to go on top of it. Shredded lettuce for a taco night needed some cheeses so i got mild and a taco blend we we're almost all out of butter and we like the half sticks and we were completely out of just regular margarine i actually forgot about the chocolate rice cakes so i went ahead and got some of those and i also got the caramel little minis those are just nice for a snack but i'm thinking with the chocolate ones if you put a little peanut butter on top i bet you that would be really good 
And then Timothy really enjoyed the Andy Caps, the hot fries, um, last time, so he asked if I could get some more. A couple cans of water chestnuts, some Bush's homestyle beans, refried beans for the taco night, chunky salsa, that's actually going to go into the tortilla soup. The Hawaiian barbecue sauce is for the Hawaiian chicken that I'm going to be doing, the luau chicken. Justin loves when I make cheesy chicken tacos. So I got some nacho cheese taco shells and some cheesy taco seasoning to go into the chicken. Black olives to go with that. Cheesy Mexican rice. So it's going to be a cheesy meal. <laughs> couple of containers of chicken broth for the tortilla soup. I like to toast up some cashews and add that on the top of the luau chicken. Cream of mushroom soups for the stoop recipe. Needed some bread and some fabric softener. Shopping out of the pantry and freezer right now that I've been doing the last couple of times for my groceries, that has really helped with my grocery list is just really small. And I know we were actually like $100 under what we normally get, so that's very encouraging. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Plus it's helping clean out that pantry so I can get in there and get it cleaned. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We are getting ready to eat our liner. Um, we ended up getting Jimmy John's today. You want to see what we got? This is Jason's number nine with hot peppers. Oh, you guys got me a Texas tea. Thank you. You're welcome. Timothy's. I got a number nine. Okay. Nothing What's special. It? Nothing oh, special. It's a, um, um, it's a Italian nightclub. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Italian nightclub. And then I also... Got a number nine, right? Yep. I tell you, nightclub, but mine is actually called an unwitch, so it's wrapped in lettuce and not in the bread. This one's Justin's, a slim number four, but I'll show you when we open them what they look like. And then you get pickles, too. Italian nightclub. That's what the number nine looks like, the Italian nightclub. Okay, and this is the unwitch, so it's all wrapped up in lettuce. I eat this with a fork and a knife, you just, you have to. And then this one's Justin's. Mm hmm. Eat. So simple. <laughs> plain. 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 What do you want? Are you waiting for something? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She's dancing. In my April favorites, I had shared with you the shorts that I had gotten from Land's End and I had gotten them for 40% off. Well, about a week later, I ended up getting another 40% off coupon in the mail. So I went on their website and their whole entire website was 40% off. So I started looking around and I found two more pairs of shorts and I got them in different colors instead of the blue. I was gonna go ahead and just get the same ones like I had already gotten, but once I seen the colors on their website, I fell in love with these two colors and I thought they would be perfect for summer. So let me show you what I got. I got these ones. I'll have them linked below in case you are in the market for shorts, but I went ahead and got the same length because I like the length of the last ones. So these are a seven inch chino short and they're like almost like a coral red color. And then I got these ones and these are um, almost like a mint type color of a green. It's very pretty. It reminds me of a um, mint chip ice cream. <laughs> what it reminds me of but I got them both in the same length so seven inches and they are the chino shorts they're very nice these ones are actually the material are actually heavier in these pairs than what they were in the other pair of shorts the blue ones that I had showed in my April favorites which I'll have that video linked below if you haven't watched it those are actually a, a lot lighter of a material than these so these are still not like heavy. I mean, they're perfect for summer. They're just not as light as the other ones. And then I got a hold of my Mary Kay lady and I am in the market for a really good night cream. So she sent me some samples and this one is the intense moisture cream. This is the oil free hydrating gel and this one is a moisture renew gel mask. So this one, I think she said you wear all night long. 
but I don't know if I really want something that I wear all night long, like a mask. I'm not sure. I'm going to try them out and see which one I like of the three. I'm going to order one of them for my night cream because I am completely out of my night cream and I need it, especially in this dry climate that we live in here in this part of Texas. Oh my goodness, I can just see it. As soon as I ran out, and I've been using moisturizer, but it's just not the same as a night moisturizer. When we lived in Michigan, we had a basketball hoop at our house in Michigan, and we moved out here, and because these are new developments, they don't have basketball hoops. And so Justin and Timothy have been really missing having a basketball hoop. So over the winter, um, Jason bought them a basketball hoop, and he is getting ready to put it into the ground. He's gonna cement it in and just make it permanent and sturdy. So let me show you where he's at with it right now. All right, this isn't cement. This is actually something different, it's right? A, yeah, it's a fence post mix. <clears throat> it's like a polyurethane, heavy duty polyurethane. There's two different chemicals in each side of this bag. You roll this bag up until you break the seal, get them mixed together, mix it for 15 seconds, cut the pouch, and pour it in and you got up to 10 seconds to adjust it and then it's ready to go. It says it takes two hours to dry and, and it's equivalent. This little bag is equivalent to a, 20, a 50 pound bag of cement. So it should work just fine for what we're looking for. Okay. That's the radio you hear in the background. Um, and you said that on the video you saw that the guy... The guy put in a fence post. Two hours later he was actually hanging on the fence post rocking and it wasn't moving. Nice. So I thought this would be a nice quick easy alternative to concrete. ran a little longer than what I intended for it to so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to close it out but in tomorrow's vlog I will be incorporating what will be going on with that basketball hoop and if everything works out and I will catch you up on the things that we do here on Sunday I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow